Imagine walking up on a job site and preparing to cut a roof and seeing these varying plate heights. Roof framers know that you need to find your run first, then your pitch in order to find your rafter length. But this here is not easy to find your run. Where does the ridge go here if there's two different plate heights? And the answer is you have to find your factors for this pitch first. And this pitch is 7, 12. So the two factors are 7 divided by 12 equals 0.58, and 12 divided by 7 equals 1.714. If you take the 712 pitch here, 12 inches on the run, 7 on the rise, and the hypotenuse diagonally, and you were to swing the rise down onto the run, you'd find that it was 58% or 0.58%. Of 12. So 7 is 0.58% of 12. And if you were to take the run and you were to swing it up in plane with the rise, you'd find that there was one whole rise plus 714 or 71% of a second rise, almost two. If this was 14 and this was 7, that'd be two. But this is 1.71. Those are the factors of the rise to run and the run to rise. Here we have a rise of three inches and we want the new run. So we simply take the factor uh, 1.714, we multiply it by the three inches and we get 5.14. So our, our new run, we add it to the span, which is 14 plus 14. And our new span is 19.14. And the ridge will go in the middle of that times 0.5 equals or divided by 2 is 9.17. You write that down, 9.1, sorry, 9.57 is the center line if you had no ridge. Now, we want to subtract 9.57, which is the center line, your new center line, from the overall span to get what's left over here from the original span. So minus 14 equals 4.429, 4.429. If there were no ridge, 4.429 would be the run of these short rafters. And... 9.57 would be the run of the long.